So I'm here on Befriending Week with Alistair, who's one of our volunteers. Could you tell us, first of all, how you got into volunteering and befriending? Sure, Peter. I, I retired in um, March 2017. A couple of years of not doing very much, and uh, I realised I, I, I wanted to do something. I wanted to volunteer. I wanted to help other people as well. That was part of what I wanted to do. And I got in touch with the West Lothian Volunteer Gateway, who gave me great advice. I, I really think they did a super job. They put me in touch with Opal, they put me in touch with another voluntary organisation, and I'm still with both of them, and I'm enjoying myself, and I, I believe I'm doing some good. So I, I feel pleased about it. That's, that's great. And um, so you've been befriending for, for some time. Um, can you tell me how that, that has changed, how that's evolved over time? Surely, yeah. Well, I was matched up with a, an elderly gentleman along in, in Livingston, um, and I went. We went to see him with a, a, an Opal uh, staff member. We, I think we clicked right away. We found that we had a common interest. Um, when the old gentleman was at work, he what his skill was restoration of paintings, believe it or not, in historic buildings, and that's what he did for a living. Um, so we found that we had a lot in common around that. And our relationship really, really developed. So as an example of that, at first we, we were sat in his lounge having a cup of coffee and a chat for an hour and a half or so. And then we, we agreed one day we would try going out in the car and take our coffee out somewhere. And ever since then we, we, we developed a programme of trying all the coffee spots we could find within 10 miles of a uh, drive. And we, we developed a, a, a friendship, a genuine friendship that has developed. And we also tried to fit that into visits to historic buildings. Mm -hmm. And it, it was great. I mean, I, I really saw the old gentleman becoming interested and animated and energetic. He's, I think his walking improved in that right. time. So that, that's, what I that's one point I would make. Right. Yeah. So a, bit, a big change over time. Yeah. Yeah. After that, I mean, uh, uh, how did things change uh, once we in, went into lockdown, lockdown and so on? Yeah, lo lockdown was a, was a real... Yeah, a real hassle basically because we couldn't meet each other in person we certainly couldn't go out to coffee shops which we were so much enjoying um, we were fortunate in able we were able to have conversations on the phone uh, not as good as face to face there's no doubt about it if we can befriend face to face that's best um, but we, we enjoyed our, our telephone conversations as well but another change that took place and it's, it's part of life especially as older people get older his health started to deteriorate and I noticed a drop off in his articulacy and, and um, his, how, you know, how, how well he could concentrate on things. Um, but I was really delighted when, I was, when we were able to, to go back and see each other face to face again. So for the last couple of months we've been able to, to meet up in person and his health has deteriorated both physically and, uh, and, and mentally, just to, to be honest about that. But I, I still see that he perks up. When, right. when I'm able to go and see him, and he enjoys our chats. Okay. Uh, and overall, um, you know, what would you say has been the the impact uh, and benefit both for yourself and, and and the gentleman that you're seeing? Yeah. Well, um, I've I've greatly enjoyed what what I'm doing, and I get I get um, satisfaction um, out of seeing the effect on him. But there's there's been direct benefits for me as well. I mean, one one is learning about patience and the ability to listen carefully to what somebody is saying and I think that's a really important skill to learn. Um, I feel that my time is being used gainfully and that gives me a feeling of satisfaction. But the main benefit that I see is for him. Um, I've, I've seen him be become really animated and interested in things that we've been able to do together which, right. is, which is great. Um, and then more recently now that his health is, is more is poorer. Uh, I've seen him cheer up when, when he gets the chance for a face-to-face a, a -face conversation. Yeah. The other point I would make about benefit is with the old gentleman's wife who has quite a burden of care with him and for a couple of hours she's able to get out of all of that and she can go out of the house, leave us together or go off and do what she needs to do. So I think that's a real win-win. I, I, I see a lot of benefits from it. Thanks very much, Alistair. You, you've given us, a, given us a real sort of insight into befriending uh, for Befriending Week. Uh, so thanks very much. Good. Well, thank you very much, Peter. I, I'd recommend it to anybody. I would say that. Thank you.